have you ever been on an e-bike before? I have never. I've never even seen one in person, but I'm really excited to try it. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. I'm Paul. And I'm Liz. And these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And you will certainly live amazing if you get electric bikes. Yes, e-bikes are all the rage. We actually have an e-bike shopping video that we'll link to down here, and we have an e-bike playlist with reviews. But I would have to say that the review we're doing today on the electric has probably the widest appeal. I think the broadest swath of people would be interested in this e-bike. Yeah, the price point is, is right, especially if you're just getting into the e-bike world and you're not sure if you want to spend you know, 2,000, 3,000 and 4, up. 4,000, 5,000 yeah. yeah. on an yeah. e-bike. It gets crazy. I mean, there are some $10,000 e-bikes um, out there. So these bikes are right at the $1,000 price point and you get a lot of bike for that price. And they're foldable. Now, if you're like us, you might be full-time RVers or you might RV on a weekend or you might not RV at all, but the fact they're foldable saves you from having to buy a bike rack. You can just put it in the back of your Jeep or van and store them easier too. Bicycles are fun. I'm sure you remember as, as a youngster having hours of fun on a bicycle. Well, these things take all of the bad stuff away from bicycles. Like when you get to a hill, you don't have to, you don't have to strain to get over it. You can work as much as you want or turn the assist up and, and go up it like, like it's not even there. Or don't even pedal, you can just throttle it. Oh yeah, you could just throttle up it. As you probably have already noticed, there are two different bikes here. They're both electric XPs, but one is a step through and one is a standard frame. I've been riding both probably about an equal amount of time. I actually kind of like the step through. It's easy to get on and off because you don't have to raise your legs so high. If you've got knee replacement or anything like that, it's... The electric XP 2.0 has a 500 watt rear hub motor, a 48 volt 9.6 amp hour battery, five levels of pedal assist. It has front fork suspension and comes with a headlight, tail light, and a rear cargo rack and it has 20 inch wheels with three inch wide fat tires. The number one question that we get asked on any e-bike is how far will it go? Yep, that's always the first question somebody will ask us when we're out riding our bikes. It's just like a car and gas mileage. If you drive with your foot to the floor all the time, your gas mileage will be a lot worse than if you drive at the speed limit. But seriously, what is the range? You're looking at conservatively a 30 mile range. And that's pretty decent for a thousand dollar bike and 30 miles if you're commuting to work or something i mean you, you'd be okay yeah if you had a 10 mile commute and, and one of these bikes you could ride it to work now if you dial it down and you do more of the work than the bike oh, does you can extend that easily and the tires these are wide tires so they'll go anywhere they'll go on grass and, and sandy terrain let's talk about the tires just briefly because one of the differences that that electric did when they went from the original XP to the XP 2.0, which is what these are, is that they went from a four inch wide uh, tire to a three inch wide tire. I like the, the slightly smaller tire better. You're just not going to need that four inch tire. They all tend to be flat magnets because there's so much tire surface on the ground. I'm in zero, which means I've got nothing right now. I'm in the lowest gear and you're not going to get much faster than 10 miles an hour in this gear because you just can't spin that fast. I'm in pedal assist one. I don't feel much different. Okay, now I'm starting to feel the motor kick in. And I can actually shift up a little bit. I'm in uh, third gear now. You know, you'll hear people talk about, well, I don't want an electric bike because I, I want to get a workout when I ride. Well, believe me, in one and two, you're getting plenty of workout. Oh boy, now we're talking. Let's move up the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh. So in level three, you feel the assist all the way, all the way up to high gear, seventh gear. 14, almost 15 miles an hour is, is pretty comfortable. Okay, now we're gonna get some speed. Okay, now this is 20 miles an hour and I'm just following the pedal around at this point. 
almost no effort. Now I do want to talk a little bit about level three, which is, I, is where I ride it most often, just to conserve battery. The sweet spot for this pedal assist level is about 15, 16 miles an hour. Above that, you're working pretty hard. In addition to pedal assist, you do have throttle. Yes. And we use that for coming, like if you're at a standstill, a lot of people don't realize this, but e-bikes are heavy. And that's a lot of weight when you're at a stop. So we actually use the throttle to start up to get, from a stop. To get the mass moving, yes. Yeah, yes. just a touch, you know, for a few seconds. If you've watched some of our other videos, we don't like full handle twist throttles because right. it's too easy when you're getting off and on the bike to <laughs> get into an accident and break your hand like I did. But this is a split twist throttle, which I really like. It's pretty hard really to, to misapply the throttle. Well, what are your, some of your favorite features of the bike? It's comfortable for a folding bike. I love the display. We have, as you know, we've re reviewed several bikes. There was one bike where I had to get off and cup my hands to see the display. Yeah. With electric, it's so easy to see because you want to know how much battery do you have left, how fast are you going, how many miles have you gone, that sort of thing. Yeah. And that bike, by the way, was cost three times as much as this. So let's talk about the pros of this bike. What are the things that just really get you excited about the bike? The price point is really the, what excites me the most. It opens e-bikes up to pretty much anybody with a job. If you've, even, if you've been thinking about getting an e-bike, then by all means, check these out. One of my favorite features is the fact that it will go anywhere. So what are the downsides of the bike? It's not a full-size bike. The 20-inch the wheels definitely feel different just handling-wise, and it takes a little getting used to. That's not, we don't mean that, I don't mean that as a deterrent at all. I'd have to say another downside is the weight. Now, all e-bikes are heavy, and this weighs as much as a typical e-bike, mm -hmm. but that 65 pounds, if you plan on lifting it up to a, a bike rack, and you know, you're a solo person, you, that can be hard. But if it's gonna be in your garage, or if there's a way to fold it and get it into your van or something like that, it's not a problem. Right. You're limited to 20 miles an hour, which for some people is perfect. Oh, yeah, and plenty. for other people, they don't want, they want to go faster. Yeah. And I want to tell you that 20 miles an hour is plenty fast on a bike. It really is. So who's this bike for? Who's the ideal person who would love this bike? Well, somebody that is going to ride around do 10 mile rides and has not had, maybe hasn't been on a bicycle in years. And you know what, this bike is ideal for if you are camping and you want to cruise around the campground, if you have a corner store that you want to ride to or cruise around your neighborhood, this bike is ideal for that or commuting to work. So who is this bike not for? Somebody who wants to go fast and for longer distances. But I think for pretty much everybody this bike would be so great to yep. just run around and all that yep. this would be a perfect get around bicycle these yeah. are automatic smile makers yep. i really believe it Every, you know one of the things that we do we we travel so much and people see us with our e-bikes is we're e-bike ambassadors and we let people ride the bikes have you ever been on an e-bike before in your life never now you're flying yeah this you is so cool yeah, yeah baby Woohoo! It's fantastic. I mean, it's just, it's such a great assist. Like if you're gonna go up a hill or, uh, and when you start pedaling, you have to be careful because you're gonna go. Have you ever been on an e-bike before? I have never, I've never even seen one in person, but I'm really excited to try it. <laughs> Everybody just oh, comes yeah. back, wow, yeah. I've gotta have one. They are just so much fun. The electrics are great in that, you know, we're not limited to where we can go. We can ride across the grass right now if we want. We could. The difference between the two bikes is is is, is slight. So if it comes to a question where you really need the, the step through, they're the same price, aren't they? They're, yeah, same price. So Electric has a full range of accessories. There's a phone holder, there's different seats, there's a different rack that comes with a cargo rack, but there's different racks. You can get a rack for the front. And they even have an accessory, which is a comfortable seat, which is on a spring, which really helps for bumps and yeah, stuff. So I find the ride pretty smooth. So we have partnered with Electric and we have a special link in the description. Use this link to get the best prices. And enjoy the bikes. We'll see you on the bike trail.